Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Choose to Lose campaign. A campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less options and equipment, less soldier classes, less hit points and stronger enemies via ABA and ABC. It's time for Operation Righteous Death and hopefully the name is not what's going to happen to our operatives. We're going to fight the first Fire Starter Prime a couple of Codex, Mutants, and a couple of pretty nasty Mambas. I think those were the ones that are spitting fire as well. And it's a Haven Assault, so we do have some support from the uh, operatives on the ground. Sandman, Sukugur, uh, Toxic, and Secundus, all kind of known quantities. However, the rest were of uh, the B team or C team at this point uh, were... Uh, quite injured, so Iron Lady is subbing in, and Carabinado, uh, our new viewer character, also comes in, and uh, maybe we can even give that guy a proper weapon. Laser sight, sounds like a plan. Do we have a person that combats him? Uh, focus is not that great. Let me just give him an autoloader here. Uh, repeaters are not a thing and maybe a stock not perfect but it should do we got to deal with what we have i will use the emp bomb for the first time although there are only co uh, codices uh, to go through but nonetheless that might be an option for us but frankly we have not that much available we could go uh, go with proximity mine on the other hand I wonder if that benefits from greater explosions. I wonder if that benefits from greater explosions. I guess we're going to find out. And the EMP bomb, on the other hand, oh, let's give that to Cavanaro, just in case we need to deal with the codices. Good. Well, let's jump right into it. I want to win this mission because. Um, if we were to lose it, uh, North America would lose a second uh, area. And keep in mind, the continent bonus here is tactical, uh, uh, tactical analysis, which steals one action from any discovered uh, team or any discovered pot from the enemy when we discover them on our turn. And that's a really, really strong one. Guess what? We're dropping in hot. Chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down. Not okay, far sniper from gets into position. position. Move in and help fend Let's off take a look. High ground here would be fantastic for the sniper. High ground there, potentially even better, because my gut tells me we will need to fight. What's the right hand side here? I go where Moving I up. Need. And that is a bit ir irritating almost. Not uh, seeing any type of enemy here. Okay, so Secundus moves straight over there. Toxic moves over here. there, and Iron Lady is concealed thanks to her phantom ability here. Location confirmed. And thus, we can go in more aggressively. If I was to take a guess, we're seeing a chosen. Hell yeah. Uh, the only one that is alive. You have been judged. The warlock, still resilient, immune to critical strikes, can summon a beast that fits very nice into the narrative here. Revenge on missed shots, regenerates, and overwatches. Like I said, pretty strong package overall. I am already 
mentally viewing or praying for the day where we're going to um, invade his stronghold, finally getting him down. We should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble. That's a mutant infector. And two nasty, nasty codices. At the same time, over here is the Mamba. Yep, keep focusing it. Thank you. Okay, so far so good. The enemy pack over there is not yet triggered. And we could go for a really, really nice uh, critical strike. I sort of regret not to have given the EMP bomb over to our ranger. I see I would potentially not be far enough in order to throw it over. Oh, 10 points of damage would be absolutely fantastic. Anyways, let's kill the mutant. Nice critical hit. Fantastic. Good, we're moving up. Overdriving. Okay, I'll go. You know what? Let's run and gun. Getting a tiny bit further. Now we're not going to uh, use proximity mine. Hitting, but unfortunately not hitting hard enough. So we're seeing a clone. Oh boy. The question of the day is, can we kill all of the codices uh, and their clones before something is happening? I'm trying to not use too many resources here. I have sight beyond vision. That's one down. That's potentially another one down. Like I said, potentially. Good, one of them survives. Could have used the flashbang, but I, s I think we will still need that going forward. Overwatching in case it moves instead of teleporting. Not sure if it really would need to do that. Snakes. Off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. This and oh, there's the bomb. Costs us quite a bit of momentum. Together with spectral zombies, we might have a problem here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> well, at least the Overwatch went off, right? Yeah, the Warlock is... is a bit of a troublemaker. The amount of hit points that he brings to the table is just absurd. And these XCOM operatives show exactly why XCOM is having problems with hitting anything because that's the pool of recruits that you're recruiting from. So. It's a good indication why you're never hitting anything. Good. Free reload. Moving over. I know, complete shocker that there are two snakes. Who would have guessed? After they literally killed uh, two, tar uh, two of our... Oh, my two of our um, civilians 99 uh, 80 88% shot just straight out missed go taking the high ground I think we do have an auto loader right no we don't so oh, that unfortunately cost us quite a bit of momentum do we have an auto loader here Again, not. What's over there? Moving up, reloading, utilization of teamwork. Not the biggest fan of the amount of cooldowns that we need to blow just to get those zombies down. Down to one HP, fantastic. We can't, under no circumstances, let this guy live. All right, moving over. That indeed is a real problem. We gotta deal with the zombies. Can't let them live either. Unfortunately, we don't have silent killer, so there's a good chance that this is going to reveal us. Yep, there we go. Spectra Zombie needs to die. Unfortunately, the bomb has caused a lot of momentum uh, swing in favor of uh, the aliens. I need to reload. Can't really protect these guys here. Well, luckily that bind wasn't particularly good. Occasionally they do succeed. 
still two of the zombies are uh, running wild and we don't have blade storm nor the tools to immediately kill them i think they hit quite hard as well good come on kill that viper do not shoot those guys <sighs> stupid <laughs> you literally are hitting whatever uh, the worst target could be okay maybe the car will explode at some point there's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast we need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people it is good moving away reload and let's run. get uh, the the spectral zombie down there we go, the explosion does not kill the other one. Unfortunate. Good, that's a flanking position. Killing the Viper, hopefully. Fantastic, that worked like a charm. Good, sniper moves up. We gotta move towards the enemies and try to kill as many of them on the way as humanly possible. There we go. That'll save us, I think, one civilian so far. No, clear. two. Okay. The other survivors. Sir, you garish displays of swordsmanship for my sister. Good. We got solid defenders. That's a start. Now the Berserker Prime is still there. So is the Warlock. We haven't used that many of our resources yet. But let's see how the rest is going to unfold hiding again secundus takes a maximum move yeah and the idea for next round is run 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 as far as we can because it'll take one more round until the enemies are going to activate and that will be a real problem because then civilians start to die and I did not have the best first round. Only two out of six have been saved. Yeah, the enemies are now starting to move in, so one, maybe two more turns. Certainly doesn't help that they are not hitting them. That's a normal berserker. Surprisingly large amount of shots that are missing. By the way, something here when it exploded had five armor. So either it was the warlock or something else. Okay, moving up. Toxic double moves, Panero double moves. Heading there now. Literally everybody tries to move as far as they can.
Okay, so what are we seeing? Yep, it was the it was the warlock, interestingly enough. As you order, Commander. Try to shred him some more next turn. Ever vigilant. Got it covered. Not sure if he will continue to summon his zombies. Is that the Berserk? The Prime? Sure looks like the Prime to me. Eats a shot like a Prime. Gets shredded like a Prime. Damn it, it is a Prime. And the enemy is finally moving in. Don't summon zombies. Yeah, he's just sabotaging a weapon. Good. Time to kill that berserk. Guys, focus on it. And you'll eventually get it down. Some nice damage. Good job. Shit, is that another prime? Oh yeah, that's another prime. Ooh. -oh. And these here seem to be mambas. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, maybe the fire version was something else. These here more look like sniper versions. Good. Secundus gets an 8 protocol, because I do have the, that feeling the Berserk is trying to hit it. 15 to 18 would be a kill. Since that's the only really good target, I'll take the 50-50. Ah, I forgot we had a stock. What's the chance of hitting him? Crit chance is still a bit too low. Hmm. Move into here. Twenty-four percent. Let's make that fifty percent crit chance. There we go, and let's kill it. Fantastic. Nicely critted. No longer a threat. Running dry on ammo. Well, can't fully reach him. One more round until one more round until we can Overdrive again here. Yeah, Boa, those uh, those guys were the ones that are grabbing you and holding you tight, ever so tight. If you say so. Could nah, we're not exploding that. Hmm. How are we going to deal with that situation? At the moment, oh, this guy is the only one that could theoretically threaten us. Ah, 
I think we just gotta remove the cover. Nicely shredded, it's in the open. So we're looking at like what two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, uh, ten points. Uh, it's only a thirty-three percent chance of killing this guy. The snake is more dangerous. So I figured getting that first might be the priority. Ponche doesn't really work out. It must be the Firestarter Prime. That's the nasty bind. And that's a fantastic poison on top of it. Just get that berserk down. The target is marked. Spectral zombies do not make it easier. We're going to take more damage. And the biggest problem, as always, is the enemy, uh, the ones that are suffering are all of uh, the civilians, so they will be the ones in, in a really troublesome situation. I need the defenders to step up a little bit. Us here is getting quite out of hand, as is. I mean, fantastic that you're almost killing the mutant. Also fantastic that you're after you've almost killed the mutant switching your target and now all of them are heavily injured but no one is dying also not so fantastic to position yourself next to a burning car that is going to explode sooner or later dude that's just self-sacrificial uh, play without the need to do so And that Berserker in there is still roaming. Holy shit. I cannot hide for long. My power precedes me wherever I go. Good. Let's start taking the shots that absolutely make sense. So one zombie down. Gotta get that second zombie ASAP. Who's keeping score? Fantastic. Good. Yeah, the boa has automatic uh, defense values, which makes it harder to hit her. So what we're going to do is we need that little aim bonus here. Moving up. 
overdrive is badly, badly needed. Okay, apparently the boar decides to not let go. <laughs> okay, only as she was nearing one hit point, she then decided, fuck it, gotta go. Using the number of enemies on the field as much as I can. What else? I mean, we got to deal with her. We got an advanced stock. That zombie is sort of far away. Could move to here, we're potentially going to be bound again. We're currently poisoned, right? Yeah, we are. Alright, run and gun it is. Hate to do it because we're going to lose more civilians, but what am I supposed to do? Other than... Taking our targets every single round. We have not, we have de facto not missed a single shot. Yes, the last one was missed, but still killed due to the, um, due to the stock. But I mean, look at it. Uh, we had 11 points of damage that we dealt here, one gone. Uh, we sniped one, oh, that's two gone. We shot one, that's three gone. Um, we unloaded completely into one. Plus then uh, shot, uh, that's uh, the fifth uh, kill in that, I uh, know, uh, the fourth kill in that round. So still a zombie, three zombies could be, essentially the zombie spawn has, caused us, uh, has costed us an entire turn. And even with cooldowns, we're still not capable of killing that, uh, that Viper and two of the Berserks are currently running wild. Well, it's just disappointing to see. Placing explosives. Perfect. Paces one. Just making the situation a little bit more awkward. Oh, they are already triggered. I forgot about that. Ouch. That's unfortunate. Oh boy, that is really unfortunate. Good, we're being shredded. And like I said, we're being bound again. <laughs> We're slowly but surely losing it and I cannot do much about it. Problem is too many hit points on the field. I can't really rescue them fast enough. Okay, 
yeah. apparently the, the Berserker Rush does not trigger when they are shooting it, so it's something. It's not bad. Not sure why the others were not shooting at all. Could hit both of the, these guys. On Good. That's one kill and one severe injury. Focusing on the prime. Is that an auto reload? Yes, wonderful. Alright, come on. Fantastic. Don't tell me you continue to bind with one hit point. Oak says I am to obey. I sight beyond vision. Good, we gotta kill the boa. were not detected fantastic I'm trusting you here good let's hope but we're setting up the face this one. If they hit it at least once, it'll die. Wow, wonderful. Okay, maybe, just maybe, there's an, a light at the end of the tunnel. It is small, very, very minor. A lot of things will now depend on how stupid the warlock is acting. They are taking a couple of shots. If they could focus on the Prime, that would be fantastic. Don't focus on him, he can shoot back, you know? Okay, well, she learned that the hard way. Last Mutant finally falls. And he still... Refuses to let go of that burning car. Well, they are eventually going to learn that it is not a smart idea.
put Face Punch, uh, the Warlock, which would be funny in a sense. Reloading. Can't see anything that is really unfortunate. Good, we're reviving Toxic, just want to make sure. That he's going to be okay. Biggest problem now is a potential mind control, which now. is why I'm moving all the way out of line of sight, like completely. civilians do we have left we can lose four more so don't need to be that fast We're reloading. And Toxic moves back because I think he would be a perfect target to be mind controlled. I really don't want that to happen. Moving in. Overwatch. That would be nice, but we're not doing it yet. Oh, That's an option as well, fighting against his entire spectral army. But we should be okay, we got plenty of support. Still four resistance operators uh, operatives that can help so even if only two of them hit that should be decent of course it would be fantastic if they hit the prime Moving up. That could be a kill, 60% or 80% for an injury. I think we're taking the 60% kill, come on. This will remove our concealment, but we can finally see the enemies. 100, 100, 100. Okay, we could hit all three of them. 
Let's kill that fire starter. You can't handle me. Fantastic. Learning number one, it definitely affects, it definitely, uh, bigger booms definitely affect uh, the proximity mine, which is fantastic. Learning number two. Proximity mine might be difficult to place and pull off. Continuing to move up. That guy is dead. And that guy might if we crit. Which we do. Fantastic. So if we play our cards right, the proximity mine might kill both of them. And he stays in stasis for now. 100 and 100. Okay. Still 100. Good enough. We're going with dead eye. Injuring him. Good. Both are in kill range. We're overwatching just in case. He lost his activity because he was still in Spectral Army when the alien turn began. Unfortunately, they are missing, which is really, really bad against him. And that car is overdue for an explosion. Like 10 times overdue. that guy we could hit it for 11 I'll keep that in mind Toxic moves as close as he can. Can't get into high ground and still hit him, that's a problem. Run and gun. For a reload and for hail of bullets because that's a 100% hit. Sometimes 80% is just not good enough. All right. Marked him nicely. Let us begin, then. Understood. Moving out. Moving closer. Unfortunately not a crit because he's almost immune to crits like we learned.
8 to 10. That's not good enough. Robot fist into his face. Only reason why he can hit him now is because the warlock um, has now full cover. The mech is providing him cover, and with that cover, he's also theoretically standing here and here. That gave him a uh, line of sight. Good. Secundus just takes the aid protocol. I don't want to take a shot from the warlock. Two berserkers? Are you crazy? Talking about just the number of hit points that that guy can bring to the uh, to the table. <laughs> I, I mean, just think about it. He just summoned a hundred hit points worth of enemies just like that and, and teleported away in the, in the same round. Told you, bro. You were hugging that damned car. I think the Spectra zombies do not die when the Warlock dies, unfortunately. Handed to the resistance operatives, they at least are you ready to be redeemed? They at least were uh, hitting the same target, so it was pretty damn good. If you say so, back to the warlock, can't deal with the spectral zombies. Warlock needs. Some pounding here. I will see you kneel. Can't hit any of the zombies for fuck's sake. Like I said, the Warlock needs to die, that's the highest priority. Everything else is an afterthought at this point. We might take some damage, we might lose a civilian, that's oh, collateral damage. Okay, and now it is damage mitigation. It would be fantastic if uh, the spectral zombies at least would would uh, despawn when he dies. Oh, they did. Apparently every single one with the exception of this guy here. Good. 
Good, we're moving just a bit further away than the other operatives. And let's try to maybe kill one. Nope, that's not a thing. They can't Moving traverse forward. up here. At least as far as I know. Remember, they are not victims. I am out of ammo. Good. And we're just using a flashbang that re uh, reduces his movement rate. What a mission. That is an utmost bloodbath. Uh, didn't we just disorient him? That was his normal movement. Well, yeah, back to the Warlock. I think one of his biggest strengths is if you don't check him early enough, he'll just continue grinding you down. The number of hit points that he brings to the table is absurd. 50 hit points every single time he summons uh, those spectral zombies. Then the army is another like 50 or 60 hit points plus dodge capability. And his bestial summon was quite intense as well. Double berserker. Wow. But yeah, we've been successful, luckily. Fantastic. So we got a promotion to matter of fact. Number one, Secundus is now Vanguard, which is Captain Equivalent, Paladin and Champion still to come. And Iron Lady gets Bladestorm and is a Captain as well. Pretty damn good. Income increased. We got 10 uh, extra training points. And some of them can be spent on our soldiers, the B team, so to speak. Our Reaper already has has them. Serial is nice, kill zone isn't bad either. Both of them, however, not perfect. That is sort of more useful than you might think, specifically if you're overwatching. Yeah, Hail of Bullets we already established doesn't work with the with a gun. Chain shot would be good. I think considering our typical kind of priority. Since the A-team already has all of their skills, we're now giving it to the B-team. And soon those guys will hit Major rank as well. Sharpshooter Ranger, Grenadier here. We're, uh, requiring another special as well. Heads could, uh, could fill that role, theoretically. And we also potentially will need a new Spark at some point. Experimental Powered Weapons, that's great. Do we have... A different project no no more cores like to get some more and we potentially don't need a third spark it is what it is we're just going with what we have sorted loot not now let's first of all make contact uh, the loot can wait just a little bit longer because I want tactical analysis back Interesting, so oh, it's a new facility. As soon as the Avatar project continues, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to invade Shredstorm Cannon. That is a good one. That is a very good one. Whilst there is nothing happening here, might as well build another school jack. Just to use the timing. 
means the project is ready for deployment. They give a an, uh, hacking bonus and another melee attack option. New objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people Good. Are Let's encrypt uh, the in codex the field, data. The codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However... New objective added. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Well, we've established that looks like an awesome mission once uh, we're going... Uh, for those missions, like I said, first uh, we're going to go for the Chosen Stronghold. And I also would like to go for, I think, this one here. Yep, that was the right uh, location. Another Chrysalid King there, but even more important, the Archon King. Commander, the aliens can okay, we're... We will need to do that mission now. I do not want to continue with Avatar pro uh, progress. How's the team looking? Toxic needs one more, one more day. Let's uh, make sure that he has the time. Three more days until Mike is back, then we could take the entire second team, so to speak. The B team. The B minus team, because lockdown and meltdown, uh, those were from the B team and they're already kernels. But yeah, three more days and we're going to go for that facility. And of course, something is always coming in the way. Return fire would suck if that goes through. Low profile, only soldiers of sergeant rank or lower are allowed. We might take that and make uh, the side trip, um, use the side trip to our advantage. Lead officer, shield bearer, spectre, codex, normal sector port, purifier, elite priest, viper. Doesn't seem like a super hard uh, composition. This here will be a fight against uh, the Chosen again. Oh boy, Barrier. We're, we can't let that go through. Newton Prime. Dromedon. Elite Purifier. Chrysalid Queen. We haven't seen one of those yet. Ouch. Well, that mission is going to be tough as nails. What kind of actual mission is it? Recover of an item. Okay. This is an interesting one. I sort of like to see the Chrysalid Queen. In terms of team that we can put there, I wanted to use our B team, which is now, with the exception of Mike Bravo, completely available. You know, we could take them, take Cabanero here, and just go with it or we're taking those six guys here and essentially doing the side trip mission for that kind of low side trip sergeant rank and below either way theoretically works let me just double check one thing oh yeah 40 supplies can't even recruit something Yeah, I'll make up my mind. I'll make up my mind which one we're taking. I sort of want to see the Chrysalid Queen because we haven't fought against her yet. So maybe maybe that will be it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a like and a comment down below and see you in two days. Bye bye.